dot o for nothing phone 2a this is a beta version and in this video we will compare nothing 2a with nothing os 3.0 with nothing 2 with nothing os 2.6 here is nothing phone 2 and on my right side nothing phone 2a with os 3.0 the first thing you observe is the big update for the lock screen. You can directly long press on the lock screen and you can go to customize lock screen, give the permission, you will be taken directly to the lock screen. Here the big update is you can change this clock given options are 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. There are five options has been given. This is almost uh, similar to this. And also if you could see the date has been moved to top instead of in the middle for the previous version. And also you could see immediately there is a wallpaper changing option also. Not only that, if you don't like this one, if you want to go back to your widget option, you can click on widgets. There is an option expand widget area. The moment you enable this, the clock will be gone and you have much options up to 8 widgets it, you can accommodate. And also you could see there is a minus buttons are available right now. It has been enabled. If you don't want anything, you just place this icon and it will be removed. And going forward, you will see a major update to this quick settings now the moment you edit this you will see the completely redesigned blocked wise or you would say grouped settings you would see it. earlier if you want to move or enable or disable any settings you have to draw from here to here you have to drag it the same way you can also drag from here to here but if you want to remove anything again you have to drag and drop now you can do that just simply by pressing this minus icon if you could see there is a resizable option for these icons let's suppose this is a volume icon now i can click on this i can resize it and i like this icon uh, in quick settings either i can click three times enabled ring enabled silent and vibrate or if i expand this it will show you in three modes this is very quick to change from silent to vibrate to ring mode and also you can see this style stack tile this is gone now now this has been separated there is no way i can get this tile uh, let's do so this is completely divided you cannot stack it together it is completely divided both wi-fi and mobile connectivity moving on now you can change this auto brightness mode manually which was missing in previous version now you just click on once then it will be adjusted automatically and also this screen brightness has moved from middle to the bottom apart from there is one simple subtle change if you could see this power button this looks highlighted in the previous version which it should not be now it has been removed though it is a smaller change but it is to be there because it is the highlighting so it is want us to switch it off that is sh that should not be the case and also in the previous version if my bluetooth headset is connected now it shows 90 percent which means that it is connected but it doesn't highlighting it but now if i connect the same thing in nothing to a now see this is highlighted which means that this is currently active this is a normal bluetooth and this is not connected which means not active this is a small change nothing os is all about design they are very very nitty gritties they go into those nitty gritties not only that if i switch it off 
this is the always on display how it looks like and also if you could see this is a dotted circle and this is a completely aligned circle i'm telling about their uh, nitty gritties into the details so these are nothing but action items which means that this is an information icon and these are action icons which means that clock is just an information icon i can't interact with it all these three icons i can interact this is a flash i can switch it on and off and also this is a glyph touch something is happening and this is a timer it started the timer and also while rearranging these icons here and there the moment you long press it enables a grid system where you know exactly where your icon is going to be placed now let's look at the global changes now the fingerprint animation has been changed and also many other places they have removed this dotted kind of a style but still there are some places which they are continuing let's say for this uh, weather app they are still going with the dotted uh, design and if you go to settings you will observe the main difference here it is a dotted design now everything is clean also as we are talking about settings i see there is one actually in fact two options one is tips and feedback here you can get the how to options and second you see the special features special features is not a new feature but they have grouped some of the other features like experimental features and ram boosters they group together in special feature these are not new but tips and feedback is completely new and that you don't find it in the older version and also if you go to screen record now you can record either a single app or the entire screen this option is available and this is new and i saw this option in my pixel phone also if i record the screen i see the same thing single app or the entire screen and now there is one major update which i really liked let's say if i open this calculator okay the moment i put it as a pop up window in my older version if i long press i have only one option to that's it i can't do bigger than that if i want to move this to middle i can do that either i have to move it on the right side it will be docked on the right or it will be docked on the left i can't put it in the middle and also i can't resize it now i can do that i can resize this just by dragging these corners i can resize them and also if i want this in the middle i can put it in the middle i see another option minimizing it i can minimize it and i can do whatever the work i do if i need it again i can open it that option is not available in the previous version and moving on to camera there is one small change which i have observed and that is in the video when you click on this zooming it shows the mm here in earlier version it was not while zooming you would see that option you will see that mm is showing here though it is a very minimal thing but uh, it is to be noted because the region change and also in the camera settings i see very small change which was there i don't know whether it is part of nothing 2a and 2 because the scene detection is not showing in the current version again i am not sure whether it is os update it has been removed or in nothing phone 2a this option is not there i don't see scene detection after ultra hd this is only a first beta version 
for re which was released for nothing phone 2a and this is also not stable they are going to make many more changes which are we going to see if you are having nothing phone 2 2a plus and nothing phone 1 then you will have to wait till november and december to get these updates i have only one and only complaint about this new clock from nothing os 3.0 is that why it looks almost similar to an iphone always on display they could have chosen a better clock if you want to see the review of nothing phone 2a this is one of the best budget phones under 25000 here is the link in the below description you can watch from there and that's all in this video please click uh, like share and subscribe for more nothing os updates thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video